Mr. Beagley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbeagley with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagley and I'm once again playing another random one shot from over on Itch.io. This is a game called Room 303. No relation to the crappy band as far as I know, but it's still Spooktober, so this is a horror game. I'm still torturing myself for your amusement, hopefully amusement, hopefully you guys have been having a good time watching me react all crazy to all of these games. But this is a game that was made in only one week for a game jam I've never heard of before, it's called like Tyra Games Dev Squad game jam something along those lines it had a theme of one room but that's a very very short amount of time to make a game that looks this beautiful honestly all the screenshots on the game page look really great don't know too much else about this i don't know if this is an apartment or a hotel or what but we're gonna go ahead we're gonna play the game oh that's cool so when i hover my mouse over the handle the little play thing appears that's really neat does anything else interact here on the front uh oh the exit is the uh, the emergency fire alarm. Cool. That's a really cool little touch. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's enter room 303. I guess, uh, I mean, my guess as far as what I've seen in the screenshots is that this is going to be like the movie, the movie 1408. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that one before, but it's about a man trapped in a room. Oh, God. In a hotel room, and he's slowly going crazy. And there's like some sort of evil force that's messing with him. No, 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 no. Oh. No. Oh, gosh. What the hell was that? <laughs> what was that voice? Very gurgly, sir. Fix this. Fix this? There's a freaking dead body here. He's all bloody and horrible. I can't crouch. I, I, oh, I can jump. <laughs> no more monkeys jumping on the bed. That's kind of neat that the bed actually has like bed <laughs> that's like bed spring sound effects. That's awesome. That's a nice little touch. Okay, so this man, did he fall into this room through the window? What happened here? Good God, you are yucky. I don't know what told me to fix this, but it, I don't like it. So like I was saying though, in room 1408, for those of you guys who haven't seen it, I can't interact with anything, can I? Oh, there we go. Oh, a little hand appears. Okay. Nice. Okay, think, think. All right, he's talking Stop to himself. Blinking. Stop blinking. Okay. All right, am I doing okay? Mr. Demon voice, where are you? All right. Uh, can I click anything? Else? <laughs> Not like that. Okay, I will listen to you. How about the light bulb? Do I? Oh, okay, that wasn't in all the way. Now do I click this? Ah, I turn it on. Then the light. Okay. Wow, that what snapped on place. Real quick. Yeah, what do you? Fix. What do I fix, creepy demon voice? Shut up. Yeah, seriously, shut up. I'm, I'm trying to fix whatever it is, whatever you need fixing. Just be very clear, demon voice. I will help you out. I feel like I'm going to piss this thing off and I'm going to die because of it. All right, TV fell down. Do I have to fix the whole room? Is that what it's asking me to do? Or do I feel like, how do you fix a dead body, dude? Oh, God. But like I was saying, yeah, in room 1408, he like, uh, he can like see out the room and he can like yell for help, but like, God, he doesn't get help. And I feel like maybe we're probably trapped in here with this demon and we could, ooh. Ah, oh, we can strum the guitar. Play ourselves a nice tune to lull ourselves into a false sense of security because it is way too creepy. There we go, I fixed the coffee cup. Are you happy? That's all the demon wanted. Just me to fix the coffee cup, right? He was just like, I need my morning Joe. Rah, I'm a demon. Even demons get cranky. I'm walking on the TV. I feel like that would... All right, can I... Oh, oh, yeah. I can write that picture. There we go. Should we explore more of this room? Okay, can we maybe get out, please? Please, demon man, sir. All right, that light stays on. We don't... We fix the time. It's exactly 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. P.M., I'm guessing. Maybe 8 a.m. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just making small talk with myself because this is... Actually pretty creepy. Oh, no, 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 no. We keep that on. We keep lights on in this house. Oh, what's that? What's that book? Time changes? What? Okay, interesting. Uh, what else do I fix, demon voice? You're not being very clear with me. Do I put that couch up? Oh, okay, I fixed the TV. Stop. You are the loudest thing in the game. Even my own character is not as loud as you, Mr. Demon Voice. It needs power is what he said. Is there a cord I can plug in, perhaps? There's like the... Oh, the outlet's right there. There we go. What happened to you? You can watch them. What happened? Yeah, what did what happen? I <laughs> no, I don't know. 
No. What do you mean? I, I didn't do Did this. I kill this man? Oh god, I can walk on him? That's oh god, that's that's really morbid. <laughs> Alright, so fix the couch. There we go. Nice. I didn't do this. Wow, this I place looks it looks pretty nice. I don't understand yes. either, man. Oh god. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, leave me alone, demon voice. I don't like you. What's this? Is this a mattress? What is that? Uh. Oh god. Oh god, please. No. Oh god. Oh, no. No, no. No, okay. No. Go away. Yeah. Answer the door? No, it's gonna be you, Mr. Demon. I'm gonna hate that. I don't wanna answer the door. You're gonna like grab me by the face, steal my soul? This is the jump scare, guys. It's gotta be. Oh boy. I hit the button. Come on. Ah! Okay. Hi. Oh! What the? What the? That's you! That's you! You're you! Are you? Am I gonna turn around one of these times and you're gonna have like a demon face or something? Wait a second. Can I please come out? Can you please stop blocking the way? Instead of looking all, you know, just stern with your arms behind your back and everything, Mr. Man. You're not even looking at me. I can just peek out. Look at you. I don't want whatever it is that you're you're standing here to sell. Oh god, that just turns off the light. I can't close the door in your face? Get out of here! I don't want any. Uh... What do I do now? Why are why is there a duplicate of this man? I I feel like so was I the one who killed this guy and now his ghost is here to haunt me? This is kind of eerie. It's not really scary yet, but it's very eerie and it's got a lot of cool atmosphere. I really love the environment as well. It's like I said it's beautiful looking, just really weird, really funky. I'm going to play more guitar. Oh yes. Like I said before, I lull myself into a false sense of security. My TV isn't on correctly. I'm gonna have to call down the lobby, get them to fix this. I'm gonna say fix this. Um Okay, uh cleaner. I can grab that. Oh! <laughs> Am I supposed to spray this man in the face? This is my mace! Get out of here! Stranger danger! No? Okay. Alright. Well, it was worth a shot. Do I spray this? Oh, I have to clean up the blood? I'm not a forensics expert, but I feel like this would do very little in this case. Yeah, that didn't even clean up the blood. The blood's still there. Oh, boy. Uh, did I do your bidding, evil demon voice? Sir? Oh. Oh. Telephone. I'm going to turn around and that guy's going to be, like, standing there or something. Hello? Hello. What did we do? What did we do? What do you mean? Yeah. What did we do? I don't know. <laughs> I'm very confused. I'm just doing the demon voices bidding. I'm doing what I can to help. I'm trying to help. I think. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Listen, I need to call down the lobby. Be like, hey, you guys are getting a bad score on Yelp. Your freaking hotel sucks. Trip advisor review is going to be real low. You leave dead bodies. What? What the hell? The end game is now. What do you mean? What I, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know what I've been doing this whole time except fixing up the room to look kind of nice. Okay. This thing I can click. The mattress. Put it back. Oh. Oh. Wait. I'm him. And he's me. And the other me is me. And everything is me. And everyone is me. What is happening? Yeah, this is impossible, dude. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? What the hell was that? I got shot? Oh, wait a second. I think I know what's going on here. Holy crap. That was very unexpected. Whoa. All right. Kind of nifty. That was the game, I guess. Reset. I like that. Okay. So I guess what happened was much like in 1408 where everything is like looping and strange and it keeps you trapped in the room and everything like that and it's really weird and it's like unexplainable. Uh, the events that happened in this particular room, room 303, were that... Me, a version of me, comes in to kill myself, like another version of me, and that's the dead body, and then that version that shot the previous me forgets who I am, what happened, what I did, etc., etc. I'm lured by the demon voice to continue this horrible cycle over and over again, clean up the room so it doesn't look all horrible when the next guy shows up to shoot the next guy, and so on and so forth, and it just continues forever. That's really weird. That's a cool little twist. I like that a lot. I think I'm explaining that correctly. Regardless, though, 
That's neat. I like that. It, like I said, it wasn't uh, super scary. The demon voice really caught me off guard a few times. Uh, I kind of wish there were subtitles for the protagonist just due to the fact that I had a little bit of trouble trying to hear what he was saying and also obviously adding my own commentary. I sometimes accidentally talked over him, but I think we pieced together the puzzle pretty well here as far as what was supposed to happen. But neat little uh, interactive experience here. I really liked it a lot. Definitely a creepy story. Uh, there's obviously some like implication of either like interdimensional things happening some time travel maybe supernatural paranormal style like self-duplication all these kinds of crazy maybe that was purgatory maybe that was hell something like that but cool little twist like i said i really like the story a lot hopefully you guys did as well if you did please be sure to hit the like button share the video and favorite it also be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already for those of you who have thank you so much for all of your support you guys are the best in the world i love every single one of you and as always it was great seeing you Bye bye Sir Piggly!